Wagwan, y'all. It's Dooms back for the attack, but you already know that. And today, we're gonna start something a little special. A little series on my channel where I take you through the journey of how an idiot, like myself, makes a video game. There's not a lot of videos on YouTube that actually shows the nitty, gritty, and the ugly parts about making a video game. Most just shows skilled people who makes cool games working in like two days or so. Then, there's me who spends years of self-teaching, himself coding, game design, and all this other stuff, and still I'm um, nowhere as close as skilled as most. <laughs> but that's okay, because the best way to learning is by doing, and the best way of getting faster doing something is by repetition. Now, I am not completely solo in my indie dev ventures, because I have a great friend, Mr. Commode Bear, who is going to be the main artist on this project with me. I can't thank this dude enough for his help and his friendship thus far. Also to add just a bit more grime and grit to this series, most of the series will be unscripted for you all to get some of my feelings and thoughts as raw as possible. So if watching me make a game is something that interests you, please show me some love by liking the video, subscribing to my channel to make sure you don't miss any future videos, and if you want to directly support me and my works, you can donate to my coffee. It'll be much appreciative, and then maybe I can even do this full time. But without further ado, let's get on to the video. So first things first, I have to decide what kind of game am I gonna make. So after months of contemplation, I decided, hey, I want to make a fighting game. I've had a fighting game idea that was been rattling around in my brain for little years. So I'm going to try to make it. I'm not going to get into exactly how this fighting game works just yet, but let's, you know, I'm going to first start off with how is it going to look. I want my fighting game to be a 2.5D fighting game. Basically what you see a lot today where they have 3D models, but all the characters are stuck on a 2D plane. Think of Punch Planet, Smash Bros, Street Fighter, all those sorts of games. Why? Because I like colors and I like costumes. Colors and costumes are way easier to implement on 3D models than on 2D sprites. Because when you do a different uh, costume on a 2D sprite, you basically will have to remake that whole 2D uh, palette set or sprite sheet. And I really don't have the skill, money, or time for that. Plus this will be my first time working with 3D models, so it will be a very very cool thing to learn. Let's just get this over with. So first things first, I contact Mr. Commode Bear and I ask him to help me make one of my characters, or one of the characters, into a 3D reference to be 3D modeled. He does so expertly, and then I go and I commission The Hemico Way on Twitter. The Hemico Way actually did a really amazing job with this low poly 3D model. I actually really like it. It reminds me of the N64 days, which I'm kind of going with that vibe just for the starting out of this. Maybe later down the road, I'll get it uh, done in more polys instead of low poly, but for right now, I'm very, very happy with this 3D model. So, with the first character 3D modeled and my idea set, it is time to choose a game engine. Now, normally I am very skilled and versed, or I guess <laughs> as skilled as I can be, in a Game Maker Studio, or Game Maker Studio 2. But since this game's going to be in 3D, and Game Maker Studio doesn't actually do, do 3D too well, I'm going to have to choose a new engine. Basically, I narrowed down my choices to the Unreal Engine 4 and Unity. I played around in Unreal Engine 4 just for a while, a few months, but I'm going to go with Unity. Both of the engines are free, but really what was the tipping point for me to choose Unity is more indie devs have used Unity than Unreal Engine, so I know there will be more resources for me to find and more information for me to get whenever I need help. Since I'm dealing with a completely new engine, and I am com dealing with a completely new coding language, so I am pretty green and fresh out the bucket for this one. So first things first, what I do with Unity is I actually boot up one of their game, their tutorials to make a micro game. 
One of their micro games is called Rollerball, so I followed their step-by-step -step tutorial to make Rollerball, so I get my feet wet with the co new coding language, which I believe is C Sharp, and you know just you know just see how their systems work. After that, I booted up a new project, and I quickly forgot half the things I learned, but that's okay, because I only need to learn a few things just to get my game started. And you know, there's no harm in just going back and looking through the tutorial again. No one's going to like attack me for it, and no one's going to judge me for it just by going looking up resources and looking up references again and again. It's okay. So first things first, my plan is to just help create the scene of what the regular fighting game is going to be. So in the scene, it's probably going to be just the two characters, or at least two characters, standing and looking at opposite ends of each other, as a fighting game does. So I booted it up. I loaded in my 3D model from the Hemico way, and I loaded in all the textures as well, so my model can be textured. Now I need to set up the scene as best as I can. Because of you doing the rollerball tutorial, I know how to create a plane and a few blocks and make it into a walls. So I quickly create a plane, I create two blocks, and I just put them a far apart of from each other so they could be the uh, fighting games wall in the scene and then I throw in two of my 3D models so it can be like player one and player two. So far so good. Then the next thing I do is I make sure to make the 3D models into rigid bodies. I turn them into rigid bodies by just adding the rigid body component. I have learned that the rigid body component has already like uh, attributes to it with collisions and stuff however when I did mines on my 3d models instead of using a sphere like they wanted me to do in the tutorial I ran into a little uh, problem so I already knew this was gonna be the first of many problems but I found this kinda of funny how they just kept falling through because there had no collision apparently Though the tutorial told me making anything a rigid body would give it default collision attributes, but it didn't. So what I did was I made their own co collision box. I clicked on this menu and I found that I can add collision boxes or collision shapes. So I tried making collision cylinders first, however <laughs> cylinders have their own physics since they are <clears throat> round and they bobble and roll along the round axes. So I just I just took out the certain cylinder collision and just made it a square. So now with the camera also adjusted right so I can see it in a pretty good light, I decided, hey, I want to make these things move. Now from the input system that was explained to me in the rollerball tutorial, I don't think that's going to work here because my characters aren't balls and also I'm not sure what a vector 3 or vector 2 binomial or anything that was said so I didn't completely understand it so I had pulled up more unity videos of making 2d platformers because hey if it's, they're gonna be stuck to the 2d plane I should have an input system that works like a 2d that works along the 2d plane going left to right so I found a video by Samyam. Now Samyam's input video was very helpful and it's pretty much what I need. So I followed it and copied exactly what I needed and from there I was able to just duplicate what I did for the second player. Now I have both of my models moving left and right. So for right now I'm gonna call this episode done. My goal in this episode was to set up the scene and have my characters moving left to right. So far I have that much done. Next time, I will see if I can fix the camera some and I'll maybe add a few jumping or such. Anyway, I'm gonna call the video right here. This will be the first of many of many videos documenting how I create this game that I'm working on. Because games aren't made in a day and it does take a long time so I'm not sure how long this will go on. But I am here to show you that someone with relatively no skill in making games it makes a game in a brand new engine with a brand new coding language. And hopefully this will inspire some of you that you can just do it as well if you want to. 
the, all the information is out there for you to help you. Plus, before in some of my game projects that I made, some of my friends would said they love to see my pro my process step by step, and this will be the best way for them to do it, for them to watch some of these videos and to go along and to see how and what do I do to make everything work and tick all the way until it's playable, to even further beyond. Now, this video won't this video series it won't be the only thing that is on my channel though. I will be doing this in between a few of my other videos. Most of those videos have something to do with fighting games, fighting game adjacent, or just random thoughts on random games. Because I love games, I love fighting games, and I love just entertaining people. So I hope all any of those will interest you if you do click to subscribe to see how this series goes on. I will also be making a playlist for the series if this is all you want to watch. Well, uh, with all that said, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you like this video, please share it, give it a like, show me some love, subscribe if you want to, or even decide to support me directly so I can maybe even do this full time in the description below through my coffee, saying, hey, that was a good video, here's five bucks for it. But either way, I hope this video does inspire in some of you who's on the fence about making games or just doing a certain project that, hey, you can do it. And maybe if you have a friend who's a little on the fence, send them, this, send them this video of someone who's a complete idiot about to go through the ventures of making the game. Also, I'm doing it in this format because sometimes my production schedule is a bit slow. So having just the pressure of people waiting for the next part and the next part and the next part, that that added pressure, it makes me kind of work a little faster and it makes me work a little better. Unlike most people, I think I do pretty good under with under a little bit of pressure. But anywho, I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you next time.